Hi everybody, James from Blackgrass Media here, just bringing you a very quick product review of a product that we've been sent by Digital Photo called the Ares Dual Spring Handle. It's a dual handle set up for a single handed gimbal uh, and we're going to show you uh, what it is and why we love it. <laughs> So what are we talking about here? This is the uh, Digital Photo Ares Dual Spring Handle. It's a dual handle set up for a single handed gimbal with springs in it. Um, this is the box that it comes in. Um, you can see there's a, a few few images on the back about the, uh, the sort of configurations you can have. So this is, uh, this is my GH5 on its, uh, on its Ronin S at the moment, as you can see, uh, and these are the uh, Ares dual handle spring setup. Now, it's not just any old dual handle, as you can see, they've got springs in them, so that if I bounce the, uh, the gimbal up and down, the movement is reduced. So why is that important, um, you might ask? Well, if you're uh, walking, if you've been using the gimbal a long time, you'll have no doubt mastered what they call the ninja walk. The, basically, you look ridiculous when you're doing it, but it does dampen your movement. Uh, and this if, can effectively reduce that movement um, even more. So first impressions of this really, we've only had it a week, um, but the first impressions are that it's really solid, it's all metal construction. Um, the handles themselves here are all um, rosette fitting, so unlike when you get dual handle setups that uh, fit onto 15mm rod systems, um, these here are on a rosette, so if you want to maneuver the camera this way like that there's absolutely no slippage no movement whatsoever when you're doing so which is handy um, so what we'll do is we'll just have a look at um, if i hold the gimbal like i normally would let's just move the so we're not into the light there this is how i'd normally hold it and i see a little bit of up and down movement there this is me holding it on the um, handle and also on this rear handle that we like to use as well. We'll just put it back here and we're recording off the GH5 too as I do this. So that's just a little bit of additional movement. Now, if I switch to the sprung handles, I do the same thing. There's a lot, lot less movement. There's still a bit, but there's a lot, lot less. So digital photo was saying 30%. I think that probably be about right, actually. It does, it does work quite well. Um, these are really comfortable handles to hold as well. As, um, as you can see, they are um, rubberized. And they're on this, um, this rosette system as well. So rather than systems where you'll have a, a 15 millimeter rod on there, you, where they would just slip and slip, these, once you've got them locked in, they're staying put. Um, obviously you can have them any way you want so if you want them inverted up here then you can do if you want them back down here I, I quite like them down down a bit slightly angled towards me um, and that's all good that's absolutely fine it fits onto the gimbal really really easily it's a fantastic the easy bit of kit to use to pick up and I just get on with it um, I'm really pleased with it actually it's um, it's awesome it's really cool and I'm really pleased with it. It's a, uh, it's a tremendous piece of equipment. So if you've used the DJI Ronin, you'll know how heavy it is, and it's just so much easier with a dual handle. That's the Ares Spring Dual Handle for DJI Ronin S, Crane Two, other single-handed gimbals. Uh, check out Digital Photo's website to find out any more details that you're interested in. Um, and if you're in the market for a set of these, I wouldn't hesitate. Go and grab a set today. Cheers. See you later.